notice about the what the weatherman said this morning. Only be out in the sun for 30 minutes. Put on your factor cream and make sure it's not level 2, level 15, because be burning like a negro. <laughs> Because <laughs> believe me. They don't say that on the BBC. No, they don't. They don't. You know, they say, if you spend more than two hours here, you are definitely turn into a black man. <laughs> yes, it's summer in the city. Third hottest July this century. And while in Paris, they're selling bras with built-in ice packs in London shop. The chocolate bars are limp, the candles are melting, and even die hard shops. I think something else to do. I mean, it was surprises me. It's the boobs. I mean, when I came here a couple of days ago, the boobs and the gay boys and the dope smokers were all down here and all the family was up here. But it seems like it, it's got hotter and the boobs are up here and... and <laughs> Moving and, around. <laughs> and the gay boys, and these guys at the back, they're having a field day, you know? It's like, you know, they just spot everything. Half them girls over there with them breasts out of there. And they're not saying, Come and get me. They're going, you can look, but don't come and talk to me. <laughs> well, it's nice to get a tan with that stripe. I mean, yeah, we look at the men. <laughs> yeah, so do you, Natalie. Don't lie. <laughs> yeah, we do. And um, yeah, we sort of. <laughs> Sorry, you not got a cut in. My boyfriend's watching this. So I can't say I look at them. <laughs> no. It's just reassuring getting comfort from people who've got little tits, I think, and they're not just because you've got little tits, it doesn't mean that they're really shapely. We've seen some really pruned looking breasts, you know. It makes us feel quite reassured that we've got big ones, basically. <laughs> I think in a way, sort of like seeing other people helps me just accept myself a lot more and I don't feel so under pressure to sort of like try and be a size 12. It's sort of nice to see other women in all their glory basically. Okay, this is the happening corner over here that we are nearly there, yeah? This is the, like, the club goers. You hear the music playing now? These are all the clubbers and most of the talents over there. Um, as you can see, the cafe, you get refreshments and stuff over there. Over here, I don't really know about that corner over there, Jane. Um, quite a few gay people. Okay, lots of gay people gay over there. Class. Childless couples. Yeah. And, and mothers, single mothers, yeah. and mothers with babies. Because this is the shadow end. Yeah. yeah. They tend to sit up here. But you two don't come into that category. We well, come into every we're category. We're in all categories, so <laughs> we can. Uh, <laughs> A foot in each camp, the happening corner. Yes, yeah. yeah, so but we're closest to the happening corner.
It's brilliant, and the thing about it is, as we couldn't afford to have a holiday this year, well done, it's the perfect environment because it's well like done, just being in a hotel anywhere in the world. At the moment, I'm unemployed, and um, where else could I be going if, if this wasn't available for me now? Where, what else would I be doing? I'd be sitting in a, in, a, in a flat, in my flat, probably getting depressed and bored and negative, and, um, and you know, resentful about the fact that everybody else can afford holidays and stuff. Not everybody else, but what I would call the other side can afford holidays. I can, and there's lots like me, and that's why the Lido has to be here for me. Yeah, that man's hairy back. It's quite disgusting. I suppose he can't help it. That's why I don't do men. Hairy backs, hairy legs. <laughs> hairy bollocks, mainly. <laughs> oh, sorry, but I mean, you know. <laughs> sorry. You should know, sweetie. Get enough of them. I'd like him his earrings, probably. <laughs> 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 Would you like to... Actually, I'd cut your bollocks off using his earrings. That'd be nice. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Men, I mean, I'm not now hating at all. At all. But, but, wait for the buts. But, I mean, a lot of men, men have egos. We have egos. Well, women have egos, men have egos. When they see two women together, that are attractive because out of these swimsuits we get a makeup on now, with our attractive. hair done we're attractive okay honestly we are with my hair's bouffant we're attractive and big hair don't, they don't like it it's a threat to them why because they can't have you i mean there's millions of women out there for them to have so well, there are millions of men and women and men can have men and women can have women and men can have women and women can have men i really don't see why a hamster, people wanted. should fight because they think they've lost a couple on the way. it gets, you know what I mean? And um, if dad isn't around, then I don't know, there's, there's a guilt, there's an element of guilt where you don't really want to bring another man into your life, just in case, especially having a man child. It affects them in any way, it's, it's really difficult. I mean, you can have friends, you know what I mean, but when it comes to getting close to somebody, not yet. Not yet. What about you, Jane? Jane. Sorry. What about you and... No, I'm not ready to have another relationship just yet. Just enjoying myself, you know. What do you find? It? Naomi gives you a hard time. Yeah. Yeah, she gets very possessive and quite jealous. Even when I'm just talking to people. Naomi, so, um, I am half, please. If 
if anything was to sort of, you know, start to happen, I would sort of, not around her. It would be babysitter and, you know, because they don't, they can't understand it, so it's not really fair. You know, you have to take them into, they come first at the end of the day, you know. Well, we want to have some kind of commitment ceremony, which we're thinking of doing here, and then just carry on for a few years and maybe have a family. I mean, I'd like to do that. Sophie's got the hips for children, so she could be first. I haven't got many eggs left in my basket, no, so I've got to go first as well. Left. Um, but we were, we were talking about Sophie having a child and then maybe a couple of years later me having a child, because I'm sure I'm going to want a child, not right now. Um, but in a few years, I would probably want one as well. I don't really think it's a problem now. I know that a lot of people are quite acceptant of gay couples, but the minute you start talking about families and children, suddenly it's like, ooh, that's really pushing the boat. But to be honest, I mean, it's a really easy comparison to make, but there are so many people with kids who really give them a hard time. There's so many families where children get very little love, very little affection, and if anything, it would be more wanted that in, a, in a straight child, relationship, it would be really a special child. And I really can't see why we should be any worse or any better at having children. I don't really think that comes into it. Are you happy? Am I happy? Sometimes I am. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I'm a bit in between. I'd be happier to be in employment. I'd be happier with that. If I could get enough money for doing what I'm good at doing, that's not too much to ask, I don't think. I'm making the most of it, you have to. Oh, it's okay. There you go. We'll rub it in. It's only oil. Um, no, Lucy, you know when you're grown up, you have a lot of plans, you have a lot of dreams. I have um, put some of my dreams into action. You know, things. some things have come together, but um, a lot of them were just utopia anyway. Do you know what I mean? The reality of life, it doesn't go like that. I wanted to be a dancer, a model, travel the world. But I don't have any regrets. There's definitely something magical about being in water. When I'm on land, I'm a fat, middle-aged, balding writer who smokes too much. When I'm in water, I'm like a butterfly, free and agile and, and beautiful. It does feel incredibly different. Yeah, I wouldn't mind being a fish in my next life.
Outside the swimming pool, the labels that are attached to me, not necessarily by me, but I am a gay, white, English, HIV man. And when I come into the swimming pool, I'm just crazy. I was in Hawaii when I fell in love. father wanted me to have an abortion. I went for a scan and when they turned the screen around and I saw the baby all complete with his little heart beating, I knew I had to keep the child. When I'm swimming, I imagine that I'm suspended in the same way that the baby's suspended inside me. I imagine it's kind of fish-like at this stage in its life. I think about my dad a lot, because he died not very long ago. He's an impossible man, but the one thing he did teach me is how to swim. The sensation I feel is akin to being in a state of sleep but not as a kind of sleeping wakefulness or waking sleepfulness. Swimming to me is almost like a mystical experience. It's, it's when you're dreaming. Join your hands and make the responses to these questions. Do you aspire to love each other always and to live together in a spirit of mutual support, loyalty, tolerance, respect, and concern for each other's well-being, sharing your problems, your joys, and your responsibilities? We do. I ask you to speak in truth to each other and to repeat in the spirit of faithful commitment these words of solemn declaration. Will you, Sophie, say after me, I want it to be known. I want it to be known. And I call upon those here present. And I call upon those here present. To witness that I, Sophie. To witness that I, Sophie. Take you, Lisa Jane. Take you, Lisa Jane. To be my partner. To be my partner. And promising to cherish and promising to cherish love and comfort you love and comfort you I offer you this ring I offer you this ring as a symbol of my lasting love as a symbol <laughs> of my lasting love <laughs> now will you Lisa say after me I want it to be known. I want it to be known. And I call upon those here present. And I call upon those here present. To witness that I, Lisa Jane. To witness that I, Lisa Jane. Take you, Sophie. Take you, Sophie. To be my partner. To be my partner. And promising to cherish. And promising to cherish. Love and comfort you. Love and comfort you. I offer you this ring. I offer you this ring. <laughs> As a symbol of my lasting love. As a symbol of my everlasting love. <laughs> may you have joy and give joy and make your home a source of strength and happiness to yourselves and to others. And now will you all go and help yourselves to a drink while we sign and witness the commemorative certificate.
summer of 95. 